Come in. Get it, Mike, get it! Come on! Hey! Woo! The thing that I believe makes fall fishing so special is the energy that comes off of these blitzes. It's truly unmatched. You have fish smashing on the surface of the water. You have birds diving. And the sound of those birds, the excitement in the air, everything just comes down to this one moment where you've been waiting for these fish all season long. Maybe you get lucky enough to catch one or two throughout the summer, but then to see hundreds of them up on the surface feeding 40, 50 pound bass, it's truly amazing. And to watch all of that carnage unfold, there's just another level of energy to it, excitement and thrill to be able to chase these fish. There's nothing more frustrating than watching giant bass feeding offshore, and there's nothing you can do about it. They might as well have been out in the canyons. We had no chance of catching those fish. All right, well, let's see if we can't see anything. Here. There was some fish here earlier today. There's definitely some birds still flapping around. Spending hours glassing the water and waiting for one pod of fish to break off and move on shore. During the fall run, you have to be willing to move, and move fast. It's gonna go off over here now. Oh, I'm going back. Fuck it. Look at the peanuts back over that way. Ah, too much excitement. I'm gonna die on these rocks for real. Holy. All right, I'm running back. Nah, gotta run. They're gonna pop up right there. As soon as I see one bass, 
Hit it, I'm, I'm down. Come on. <laughs> Robbie's setting up there. He'll end up getting one over there. Yeah, I got, I won like 38, whack it like three times. But I was like 10 yards from the school. I'm in. <laughs> hey, why don't you come on my left here? That way I can deal with my fish. Holy shit. I don't know if you're over me or not. You're good, you're good, you're good. Get it, Mike, get it! Come on! It doesn't count as a blitz fish. <laughs> no, you're good. You might want to go to the right of Mike. Oh, here's a nice one. Uh, yeah, go to the right of Mike. Oh, it came off. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. All right, we're going for the release. If I can even get to the water. Nice, beautiful bass. Woo, he's gone. There's something about the fall run that's just magical for everyone. Oh, right there, right there. Patience. I'm waiting for them to get into my range. Right now, they're not in my range. I gotta be patient. They're coming. Just gotta be patient. Oh my goodness. Oh, I pulled it. Oh, wow. There's that big bass everywhere. Holy shit, that's quite the feed. This is a fringe fish for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not a bad one. All right, now there's no waves. Let's get you off and get, uh, get your bigger, older, wiser mother. Oh, didn't even see it. I think I just got whacked. 
Ja. It's actually not that bad. If you want to be successful in catching trophy striped bass, sometimes you have to be willing to work for it. Start working it. Yeah, it's a big fish. It's a big bass, take your time. It's a big fish. Nice and easy. Take your time with it. Yeah. That's a really big bass, Dad. Take your time with it. Just take your time. It's tired now. Don't let him go too far to the left if you can. I would start just, just reel him in. There you go, he turned. All right, you can be patient with it now. It's not over until he gets the rock. It's a heavy fish, isn't it? 
It's a big bass. Yeah, that's a monster. He's side hooked too. That's why he's fighting so hard. You're good. You're good. He's gonna be fine. You're up high enough now. You're above the danger. Just slowly reel him, yeah? Nice. Hey, it's still a big bass. Perfect. One thing that the fall run is all about is making good decisions. And a big part of that is luck. Sometimes you should move and you see fish pop up and you run over there to catch them and then all of a sudden they showed up where you just were. That's the part of the fall run that comes into play that nobody can handle. The luck piece to it. Sometimes you're in the right place, sometimes you're in the wrong place. It's the zigging when you should have zagged and it's all about being lucky. That's where that luck piece comes in. But for the most part, in order to negate the luck piece, it's all about putting time in and time on the water. Oh, oh, yeah! Use mine. Use the mantis I've got, then. <laughs> I'm just filming. Yeah, That's awesome. A big fish. All right. Put her back. This fall was one of the most insane fall runs of all time. It was all about putting miles in. I'm talking 10 plus miles a day on foot chasing these bass, all for one small opportunity to get into a monster fish from shore. All right, I think that's good.